Ah, the 90s. It was a time of boy bands, Delia's catalogs, Wall Street excess, and really, really great cartoons. Yeah, if you were a geeky kid in the 90s, you had it made, you know, at least cartoon ones. I don't know what the rest of your life was like. Here, in no particular order, are some of our favorite 90s cartoons. Gargoyles was much beloved during and long after its three season run. The show aired on Disney's One Saturday Morning Block. One Saturday morning. Ah, just singing it makes me want a plate of morning bagel bites, which is a very real and very delicious morning treat. Gargoyles was, you know, based on a clan of gargoyles living in Manhattan. In the show, gargoyles are a living species that turn to stone during the day but come alive at night. Fun fact. Many of the voice actors on Gargoyles were alum of Star Trek The Next Generation, with Marina Sirtis, Jonathan Frakes having principal roles, and Michael Dorn, Brent Spiner, and LeVar Burton also contributing their talents over the course of the show. Gargoyles was funny, weird, and at times Shakespearean in its themes. Maybe it doesn't sound like a winning combo for a cartoon aimed at kids, but trust us, it was. We are Gargoyles. Okay, our love for the 90s X-Men animated series is well documented on this channel. Seriously, you can go to the playlist and it'll say X-Men and you'll see a whole thing about it. The cartoon premiered in 1992 as a part of the Fox Kids Saturday Morning Slate. And yes, the theme song still makes us feel like little kids in our couch cushion fort on the TV room floor. The show took on some heavy issues throughout its five season run, and it pulled zero punches, killing Morph in the very first episode. Oh, maybe I should have said spoiler alert, but it was like 20 years ago. Throughout the production, the show was plagued by delays, which got so bad, the later season's episodes actually aired out of order. But in spite of the behind the scenes issues, the series nailed some of the best X-Men comic storylines. The Phoenix and Dark Phoenix sagas are fantastic, as is the handling of Wolverine's backstory. What have you, what have you done to I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's maybe no cartoon as 90s as Sailor Moon. You got the pigtails, the angst, that little sailor uniform, they all now stand as iconic 90s objects of nostalgia. And you guys, we have to talk about Luna. I mean, who didn't beg their cat to just please talk or give them powers or advice or something. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but Tuxedo Mask was definitely the first character to make us go, can I have a crush on a cartoon? The answer is yes, by the way, you absolutely can, it's fine. Usagi and her friends were cool and stylish, and most importantly, they were just like us. Though the series run in the US was cut shorter than the original Japanese show, we cherished every moment we had with the Sailor Soldiers. And with Tuxedo Mask. <sighs> Sorry, we're back. Captain Planet is so early 90s, it's almost 80s, but it's not. Captain Planet, he's our hero, debuted on September 15th, 1990, bringing the Planeteers into the heads and hearts of kids everywhere. Way before climate change was a household turn, Kwame, Wheeler, Linka, Guy, and Mati were taking pollution down to zero. The show dealt directly with social issues surrounding conservation and environmental protection. They even included an episode called A Formula for Hate. Hey, what's he doing here? He's not gonna infect my players. Get him out of here! He's got AIDS! Centered around the prejudice endured by a young man with HIV AIDS, voiced by Neil Patrick Harris. It's okay, coach. I don't wanna cause trouble. Captain Planet could have easily devolved into campy, after-school, special irrelevance, but always managed to be daring, interesting, and delightfully 90s. The power is yours! I mean, that's so fun to say. Come on, what a good catchphrase. Okay, did you really think we weren't gonna talk about Batman the Animated Series? Come on, we're not monsters. Yes, the 90s Batman cartoon is widely considered to be one of the best Batman adaptations ever, and in fact, one of the best comic book TV shows ever made. The show won four Emmy Awards and the hearts of Batman fans everywhere. It ran from 1992 to 1995, was inspired by Tim Burton's films, and featured Mark Hamill's widely acclaimed vocal portrayal of the Joker, which still creeps me out. Ooh, I just love to get down and dirty. The show also launched Harley Quinn, who after her incredibly popular turn was written into the comics continuity. Yeah, okay, this show was for kids, but we wouldn't judge any adult who still dips back into this animated classic. 
with a plate of bagel bites. In the morning, really, you have to try it. It's so good, it sounds gross, but trust me. What do we miss? Dragon Ball Z, yes. And do you think SpongeBob qualifies as sci-fi? I mean, he is a talking sponge. Let us know in the comments what you think and subscribe for more.